up in War Eagle War Report family? It's your guy Ike Jones. We are here with another building report session. This time, y'all already see what we got cooking up right here. We have Auburn's women's basketball team members, Sydney, Jemaya, McKenna, in this thing, ready to <laughs> chop it up a little bit. Y'all doing all right tonight? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, cool, Robert. Did I just say I'm calling, sir, man? What are you doing? <laughs> we doing good. All right. Chris, <laughs> doing fantastic. All right, so. Let's get it kicked off like this. Um, I'm going to mess with you last mm. because we got a lot that we need to talk about. Oh I'm gonna, you don't want me to start with you? You want me to start down there? <laughs> yeah, start with it. All right, Do we'll I get start. a say in this, though? Like, <laughs> I don't want to go first. You don't want to go first? Yeah. Stuff. Okay, I'll go first. I'll go first. There you go, Ken. Cool. Cool. Ken got it. Actually, we got, we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah, we're going to start, oh, here. Gonna all start right. here. All right. So, you want me to call you Ken? Ken. All right. So, Ken. All right. So, here's what I want to know. All right. Transfer in. Community college. Mm. What's the transition been like for you so far? Um, the transition has been pretty much the same. I would say pretty easy. Okay. Um, coaching staff, playing style, community is pretty much the same. Um, of course, it's just on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. um, competition is most definitely a high caliber, but that's what I knew. Well, I already knew. I already know what I was getting myself into. Um, so it's been a really good transition. I mean, all my teammates, like I said, coaches staff, they make it really easy for me. So um, I really love it here. So what's been the most difficult thing so far? Like you said, the the, the competition has has ratcheted up. Like, what's been the most difficult thing? Like you expected it to be a certain thing, and you was like, oh wait a minute, yeah, this 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 is different. Like, um, I wouldn't say anything has been really difficult for me because I already knew what I was getting myself into. Just like that. Yeah, for sure. And my teammates were at my other school too, so we had a lot of a lot of good players there. So um, every time we get in the gym, it's it's a it's a war. So okay, so what when when Auburn women's basketball fans tune in, what should they expect to see from your game? Like what what kind of player do you like to think of yourself as? Um, I love defense, and I like to turn my defense to my offense. Okay, um, I enjoy doing seeing you play there because I, I like I like folks to get after on the defensive end. Yeah, I like to make havoc on the defensive end. Um, I like to score the ball too. Okay. Uh, I like to. Oh, what kind of score are you? Are you slashing? Okay, I'm a shooter. I'm a shooter. <laughs> all right, all right, I shoot threes. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a shooter. Um, I get to the rack if I need to, but three point line, that's where I live. Okay, all right. Three and D, three and D. That's what's up. All right, we're gonna pause right here. Okay. We're going to go down here to the other side. Since you didn't want to go first, you're going to go second. All right, I told cool. you I'm coming to you last. Right here is Sydney. What's up? <laughs> Sophomore year coming up. What do you feel like you learned the most in your freshman year about just this whole situation of college ball? I think a lot of my growth from last year to this year is more like as a person mm -hmm. instead of on the court. Like, I was always in my head, and I wasn't, towards the end of the year, I was not having fun at all because, mm -hmm. like, I set very high goals for myself. And when, it's really tough to not be able to reach them sometimes, but at the end of the day, like, I'm going against All-American. I'm going against people that made it to the league. A lot of people made it to the league from the SEC last year. Right. And um, as a freshman, it's hard to hold myself to that same standard, not saying I'm not going to get there, but I had to be realistic with myself. So I think I'm more patient with myself uh, this year, and I kind of forgot the question. So I'm <laughs> what did you learn the most going oh, into okay. yeah so you said yourself you you learned per personal growth yeah. is what you think is going to help you out there on the court it's definitely making me a better teammate too so i learned to just be more patient with myself and it's helping me be patient with other people okay and help them out so all right all right so here's i'll tell you what i liked most about watching your game last year your, ahead, step, your, your step back game is nice okay Thank i you. like I, silly bro <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I like the step back game so um, but what do you feel like you need to add to, you? like, offensively? We'll talk defensively in a little bit. Well, offensively, okay. what do you feel like you need to add to your game to take it to the next level this year? Offensively, last year, I put a limit on myself to only shoot the ball. Mm. I'm way less picky this year. If you on the shot, I'm going to give you a heads and I'm going, okay. whether it's a floater because, you know, I'm not that tall, so I can't always bring it to the rack. But um, I'm just way less picky. Like, if it goes in the basket, I'm gonna find a way to make it happen. Okay, all right, I like that. I like trying to put some more variety in the game. That's one of the things I, I, I get fresher. I haven't had a chance to talk to the guys yet, but like, you you didn't have this problem. They just don't like going to the mid range. I'm like, what are we yeah. doing? Y'all just gonna leave a whole 14? Three or a dunk. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yo, we can, it's like a whole other 15 feet of basketball court. Anyway, and we're not talking about that right now. We, we'll get back to the defensive end in just a second, because I have to come here to the middle. 
Miss Jemiah. What, do you want me to call you Jemiah? Do you yeah. see it? She likes Jamingo. No, Jemiah. <laughs> okay. All right, Jemiah. So you are, are you the oldest player on the team? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm 21 years old. I'm turning 22. Honesty, Scott Grace. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I, I forgot. <laughs> not me. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Honesty is definitely the oldest one. All right. So, but as one of the more senior members of the team, um, what do you feel like? you are going to bring to the mix of all of this? Like, when you decided to make the move over from that other school to come here to the better side of the state, um, <laughs> what, what do you feel like you're going to bring into the mix for the team this year? Um, I just feel like I bring experience. There's a lot of basketball that I've played, I've saw, I've been in a lot of different situations, especially in the SEC. I feel like there's not a lot of things that I haven't saw in the SEC. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the moment, the tough moments late in the season, a lot of that stuff I've already seen before, so I just know when the time comes, I already know what to expect. Right. Okay. Um, so, second transfer, started at Mississippi State. You played two years there, am I right? Mm -hmm. Two years at Mississippi State. Um, what was, because the transfer portal wasn't what it is now right. in that second time around. What was different about the transfer portal experience this time around versus the first time when you transferred from Mississippi State? Um, I would say um, I was older. And I probably only had one year left, so I knew I was going somewhere where I knew, like, I knew the people that I was actually going to. I didn't want to take chances. I wasn't in the mood to take a risk to go with somebody, go somewhere else. And honestly, I could have went to another conference and put up numbers to get to the league, but that's not just, that's not who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to compete, so I'm going to go through the toughest league in the, um, in the country and see what happens with that. Okay. All right. I like to hear that. So your game, I, you know, again, doing my research, you know, I, I like what you're doing on the defensive end. You know, you opportunistic defender, uh, but you, you crafty is what I would call it. You're crafty with the ball, able to get to a, a variety of different shots because, like I said, not necessarily the tallest player in the world, but you're able to get your shot off and get to the lane. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you was getting to the rack with ease. You know, what, what do you kind of wh – where did you get that from, you know, your – your basketball, you, you came from a basketball family, right? Like, uh, My dad, he played basketball, but when I was younger, he wasn't in my life that much. I just taught myself kind of a lot of things. Who'd you, I played who'd the you game study? A lot. I played 2K. Oh, I 2K. Learned, I learned um, my first, I learned a step back move from Kimber Walker, mm. and I learned a spin jumper from 2K. So I really taught myself okay. the fundamentals of basketball and how it's supposed to flow. Okay, I like that. I like that. Kimber Walker did... Yeah. It was a championship game. Remember he had the Yeah, I'm about to say, if you're you going to learn a step back, that that's a dude to get it from. That's where I got it from. Kimba's, he, he got one of the nastiest ones available. You, you help and see it get her step back game a little bit tighter. <laughs> She, that, she's nice tight, with it. I'm not. Tight, I, listen, thank you, Reg. Thank you. Tight, tight, tight. That I told you. That's the thing I like the most about tight. it. When, the first game I saw you play and I saw you get to it, I was like, okay, she could get to this whenever she wants to. Mm -hmm. Like, you for, I mean, I'm for real. I'm being dead serious. Like, you could get to it whenever you want to. Like, because. I think people were just kind of dare you to take it, and, and I was like, oh, yeah, she can get to that whenever. Yeah, I was that little hard-headed one, like, you dare me, I'm going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So, all right, so let's get to the defensive end, your specialty. Um, but I want to talk to you all about defense, right? So what – because I, I talked to the coach, and I already know what she wants to do. She wants to get out in transition. She wants to pressure, like – is that something that you guys are embracing right now? Has it been a change for you in, in the style? Because I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't watch a lot of basketball from that team last mm -hmm. year unless they were playing <laughs> us. I didn't. Uh, oh, Jesus, I can't say that. I don't, yeah, no, I don't want to get you in no trouble. <laughs> um, uh, but so as far as the style of play, though, is that something that you guys have, you're, you're loving this style of play? Because I know you said that this is more of what you're accustomed to. Has, has there been a transition for the, those of you over here on this end of the couch as far as the defensive style? Uh, no, I, I started fresh out of high school when I started with Coach Harris and mm -hmm. Coach Schaefer. Oh, that's I right. You defense. played with them before so, Mississippi State. Yeah, that's so right. Was, you already know what's up. So, defense. Sid, let's talk to you about defense and, and the style of defensive play that Coach Harris wants to get after here. Has it been a transition for you? Has it been something that you – like, what's, what's been up on that? It's definitely been a transition. I think coming in last year – um, I wasn't the best defender, like, even in high school. Like, and I knew that, but, like, my scoring, like, would overpower. So, like, it wasn't really a priority for me. Hmm. And it took me a while last year to take it seriously because, like I said, like, I could put the ball in the basket. So 
what really made me realize like I really need to work on it was when I started losing playing time because I couldn't be out on the floor mm. when it was time to get a defensive stop. Right. And like I've never been in a position where I didn't feel like I was good enough in a sense, you mm. know. So that made me take it seriously. I was staying after practice with Van and them just working on straight defense, like not even shooting the ball. And I think this year my defense has gotten a whole lot better. Okay. And of course, like my back is messing with me right now, but before like I was actually showing progress. So that's what's I think up. I'm embracing it this year. That's what's up. All right. So Ken. What's up? I say yes. What I'm talking about? You even <laughs> dropped the sir and all that kind of stuff. This year. <laughs> gotta be my home girlfriend. It's over with, man. Um, for you and this this new challenge it's also a change in environment right mm -hmm. like bigger school but also kind of further into the south right you louisiana right and miami miami that's right you we're we gonna talk about that but you're you from like what i'm yeah. from virginia yeah okay so like virginia is southern like don't get See, me wrong i'll be trying to tell people they keep <laughs> saying no, hold on wait wait wait, wait wait it's no, southern it's but it ain't the South. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's it's the it's South with a T H. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> not with an F. Yeah, no, I got you, you. We we in the South now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like, what's the transition been like for you to get down in the the real like gutter of the South? Like we we in the gutter part because it's Auburn. So, yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> um, I almost definitely say the food is a lot better. Um, okay, good food. That's what's yeah, a little better. We're gonna talk about food in a minute too because I need to get some. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah, the seasoning is a lot better, you know what I'm saying? You can tell it's a lot of uh soul and love in the food down here. Okay. Um so I'll probably say that's probably the biggest thing. I love food, so <laughs> that, that stands this, this out. That's why you're gonna be my home girl. You love food, I love food. You know what I'm saying? I'm gotta love it. fat and out of shape, but you know <laughs> Don't get like me. For sure. I got to you. Say. All right. Um so yeah, but the transition you've been good with that? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean hospitality I feel like is one of the big things down the south. Right. Um and everybody's shown that more than like Above that, so um, I can do nothing but appreciate it. What's the biggest crowd you played in front of, though? The biggest crowd, I would have to say championship, regional championship at my uh, JUCO. Okay. Uh, a lot of people came out um, in another game. We, we were on ESPN+. Plus. That's a big thing for um, JUCO. Um, last year was the first year that we had partnered with ESPN. Okay. Um, and a lot of people showed out. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, even... From like the other team, away team, there was a lot of people out there. So that's more of a neutral environment. What do you two ladies want to tell her about <laughs> going to places like Columbia, South Carolina to go hoop? Can I just say one thing? Yeah. We was warming up, and I think it was at South Carolina <laughs> doing Stanford, and they were sitting there counting our misses in the band. <laughs> like that's od. One, two. <laughs> she gonna miss it. Three. <laughs> It was so bad, bro. It was oh. packed out. Oh, my yeah. gosh. It's, it's, it's a different, like, the road environment mm. here at certain places. Some places it's like, eh, okay, we yeah. know. But South Carolina, mm -hmm. when y'all go, go to, to BR. Well, yeah, when you go to LSU, <laughs> you, it, LSU it's, it's going to be different. So what are the things oh, that shoot. you want to get her prepared for to deal with in those environments? Because it's going to... I'm telling you, it ain't it ain't what you've been used to. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different breed of situation. So what you, prepare her for that. Talk to her about go what ahead, she gotta go. do. I'll tell you, I'll give you some, I'll give you the regular advice and uh, my advice. Okay. The regular advice, they're gonna tell you to tune out the noise and play the game. Of course. My advice, after a while, you're gonna have to say something. Oh yeah. <laughs> one thing about after, me. After I was gonna while, ask which one of y'all is the one that's, that, that does Oh yeah, talk. I, I like talking back. After okay. a while, it gets a little ridiculous and you have to turn to your shoulder and For say sure. something back. For I'm sure. not laughing. They don't talk back. I'm gonna just laugh at you. <laughs> but sometimes it's so loud, you can't hear your own thoughts. Like you mm. see Coach J mouth moving, <laughs> but you don't hear no words. <laughs> you hear you suck coming from him. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> And I, okay. And God forbid you airball. Oh, you uh, want what? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's 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 different. It's definitely different. For so sure. I'm 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 looking forward to seeing how y'all embrace the challenge of going on to the uh the road in the SEC this Most year. Definitely. All right, so I, we already kind of broached it, but so talker, talker, laugher. Yeah. <laughs> so you just. Like, when you I get mad that? enough, I be talking to myself, but you gonna hear me when I'm running by you. No, you know? no, she talk, because she blocked my shot one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, but I like no, it. You have to understand, I did it, because you remember that one time. Look. <laughs> Listen, you remember that one time on that layup? I know I'm gonna get yeah. you to talk. I'm oh, gonna God. get you to talk. Oh, I'm talking about I don't talk. 
talk the most. Talking about year, she don't talk. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I've heard you talk. Get it out you. Yeah, I've heard you talk. <laughs> I, got, I got a little bit. Like last year is this month. This year I got I got this one. So it's, it's, that's coming with like is is it more like because was it at high were you in high school were you a talker or you was just like man you know it's whatever. Too I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I had the same experience. Like in high school, I was not a talker. But it wasn't until my assistant coach last year she was like, "You too cold to not be talking." For real? Mm. Yes. The talk. Is like talk. That it, it don't do nothing but amp you up, like especially if you hitting your shots. Like I can understand if you're not hitting, like okay, you can't really say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, if you, you hit, what you gonna say? That's like being That's loud why and you wrong. You get a stop on the other end. Then for sure. You can talk. For sure. We gonna yeah. You can always find a way to talk. For sure. For sure. I, I got you. I think last year I seen a lot of people talking and then like they go quiet. They go quiet because they start losing and they're doing something stupid. Yeah. You feel me? Like, they clapping in your face and they get crossed up. Right. You know? <laughs> like, right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I'm, I'm you know, I am i don't talk when I play ball. When I did play ball back in the day, long, long time ago. Yeah, I don't have nothing to talk about, man. <laughs> um, but I like hooping with people who talk because they get me amped up. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm going to enjoy watching this. That's one thing I like, you know, again, talking about the guys. That's one thing I like about the guys. Like they gonna talk. Like Janai gonna talk. You know, KD gonna talk. That you know. I mean, even Simo, he gonna talk a little bit. Like I like, I like watching them get under the skin of the other team. Don't get no tech though. You know. Oh yeah, for sure. It gotta be under under your breath. So what 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 do the coaches feel like when y'all start getting into that chatty situation? Oh, she loves it. Does she? Jay loves it. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. She loves it. I you know I just I she she got like that. I think she got like that tiger in her where it's just like, yeah, she want to see that that passion come up out of y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I think I'm going to enjoy watching y'all hoop this year. I feel like I'm going to yeah, be at the are. games and I'm going to be like, yo, mm -hmm. they told me they was going to get out yeah. of it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, now don't, I'm going to hold y'all to it. Okay. Now. I pull up at the game and y'all ain't going out there getting people out of their game, talking to them. I'm going to be on the sidelines saying something. Okay, There's too many targets on the team see, for nobody to be talking. Yeah, <laughs> whole it's, time. It's too many. Whole so time. Who, who, who is the biggest trash talker of all. The thing is, I don't... You didn't let me get it out good, you know You didn't got to finish that sentence. <laughs> the you thing, know. I grew up around dudes. I grew okay. up around guys. Right. I grew up playing with guys, so I had no other choice. Yeah. I'm going to shut up, but they going to keep talking to me crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to say something back. Y'all not going to keep talking to me crazy. I got you. I may be the only female out here, but come on, let's get it on the Yeah, screen. for sure. So let's let's... You have now, again, we talked about the two transitions of schools, but the two transitions of environment, well, actually three transitions of environments. Like, it's two different places in the state of Alabama, but, you know, that town in, mm -hmm. in Auburn, drastically, I'm, I'm it's sorry. Completely it's completely different. It's, it's in my core. I, I, went, I, I went to Auburn. Over here. I the went to Auburn. Fresh over yeah. here. So, like, it's different for me. I can't yeah. even, like, I'm, I'm telling you off of experience. Like, the I air feel is just, you. it's fresh out here. Yeah. Tuscaloosa kind of stinks. You're not wrong, um, <laughs> but what is the biggest change for you coming from Louisiana and then to, they call us the Cal College. Mississippi State really is the Cal College. They got the Cal, I just don't understand how we got Cal College labeled, but I guess because we got the agriculture program. Anyway, um, <laughs> but the biggest transition of those two environments for Mississippi State, then the that town and then here like what's been the biggest cultural differences for you in those two because were well, you from Louisiana way different than all this yeah I would say I mean I don't really know it's all been the same to me honestly. oh it's just the south 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 it's all, all yeah. been south 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 but yeah. Tus um, Tuscaloosa was one thing Starkville is probably the smallest mm -hmm. um Auburn, Auburn and Tuscaloosa about what and what as far as size-wise, I think. I haven't really seen that much of Auburn, for real. It ain't too much to see. So, um, it's really, it hasn't been. <laughs> it ain't a lot to do time. around here, man. It just is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, um, shameless plug to our guy, Alex, he is opening a rage room in Opelika. Y'all ever been to a rage room? That yeah, sounds you, fun, though. You just I'm go, need to go there. Yeah, yeah, you go in there and break stuff. Y'all yeah, like me I need to go check out my yeah, guy when he opens sure, up sure. his rage room down here. So maybe get some frustration out. Just <laughs> smash a TV or something like that. But watch your back. Um, <laughs> all right. So I want to transition off of basketball for half a second. I told you we was going to talk about y'all personal lives. I'm not going to do that. What I do want to do, though, is... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to prepare myself. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not, definitely not going first for this. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what I do want to talk about, though, is ink. Because y'all look like y'all enjoy getting inked up. So talk to me. Let me, let me oh, wait a minute. She's going to. Okay, wait a minute. Hey, yo. Let me show up for the people. <laughs> I, was, I mean, I, I just saw the joint right here, so I knew you had some ink somewhere. Yeah. So, all right. So, what? What? Um, so, you got a whole sleeve going on right here. Is do, do you? Are you an ink therapy person, or, or, or is there ink significance? Therapy. No, anytime, no, it's just so whatever. Something just something going on. Yeah, I just need to get some ink for. But it has to have a meaning behind. Like I, I can, you. I can explain my whole sleeve, but. I don't. I don't want to yeah. want you to have to explain. If you want to explain. No, 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 no. I was just saying. Like, I don't get tattoos just to get them. Like, Fair. everyone has. Every tattoo has a meaning. Same thing. Okay. Uh, everything has a meaning. I feel like my body is my my story. My 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 canvas. When, when was first? How old were you when you got your first one? I was eighteen when I got my first one. Yeah, after I graduated high school. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. I don't know if I could have. Got my, my fingers <laughs> Okay, to be fair, <laughs> I was with my best friend at the time, and our moms are best friends too, so we was all out eating. They got a couple drinks in them. Oh. And we was like, we finna ask them now. <laughs> it's the best y'all, time. Y'all was out there scheming. Man, I, I was going to get you. that tattoo. <laughs> so what, what, was, what, was, what was this 15-year-old tattoo that you got? Okay, so I knew I was 15, right? So I didn't want it to be stupid. So my mom at the time was really sick. Mm. And so her name's Athena, and Athena is the goddess of wisdom and mm-hmm. war. So on my ribs, I have wisdom and war. Okay. Oh, on your like ribs? You got ribs first tat? When I tell you, my body went to shock. I was, I was, what? Words. I was crying. Your first tat was on your ribs? Yeah, I got Why did y'all do that? What? Girl, you got to go with hurt words first so you can see if you can no, go with the ribs. No, family. I'm trying to get what hurts the least so I can determine whether or not I ever right. want to do this. Exactly. Again. You got to go all in and nah. where you know tattoos for me or they not. I didn't know, <laughs> I knew. I didn't know it was going to hurt that bad. Damn. You, you didn't, didn't do no research? I didn't know. Girl, I was on that table like, I told him you could stop. I thought about that, but I was like, wait, he got the finish. <laughs> nah, I couldn't have got my, I, I definitely wouldn't have gotten no more ink if I had started with my ribs first. Yeah, that's I'd crazy. Been I'd been like, nah, we, we good. This, I probably wouldn't even I finish the first one. Nah. Dang. That's crazy. I don't know how y'all doing that, bro. <laughs> At 15, too? Yeah. No, I think I got my first tattoo when I was like 20. I was smelling myself after that one, though. Of course you were. I was like, girl, crop top. <laughs> crop top, no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> All right. Okay, so who's the newest to town? Who's got got here most recently? I know you've been here for a whole year. Yeah. So, you know, so who's which of you two? I'm saying like y'all got you, here at the same time. You got here like three days before I did. Oh, it's so only like a couple. Yeah, of days. Okay. The same time. So yeah. what? Um, see, since you're the 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 senior Auburn oh. resident. Oh, senior Auburn mm. resident. I yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> The senior. What, senior <laughs> what what things um, do you ha, have you tried to show them around thing like you do you do you even like what do you do when you ain't what hooping? do I do yeah when you're not hooping what do you you already tell me you get you like to play game video games a little bit right but is that like do you do anything outside of I bought myself a fishing pole so I went fishing today okay actually. I ain't catching nothing but that's not the point I just out there <laughs> thinking you know but listen that it's a good reflective time quiet on the water so. I got a lot of books. Hold on, so did you go fishing by yourself? You just went with a pole and just was like, yeah. drove out somewhere and was like, yeah. Girl, you went, oh, Jesus, this girl went what? fishing by herself. You was on water by yourself? On water. I was on land casting oh. my thing out in the water. Oh. So That's did how somebody you cast? teach you how to do it or you was just like, you read a book or something? On fishing? Vibes. Yeah. You just got to throw the thing that's out That's not there. what you do. That's, See, that's how I that's know why, you don't know what you're that's doing. That's why you didn't catch it. You just don't. You don't just don't. You don't just hook. You before. Okay, that's all that so matters. So your first you, time fishing ever. Oh. Okay, right. My dad used to take me. Okay, so all right. You, 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 you had me you. thinking you just randomly pulled no. up at, a, at a, an <laughs> academy and was like, yo, let me get a ride, bro, and just went out there. <laughs> yeah, but I spent a lot of time with my girlfriend, too. Okay. And we go eat. Your girlfriend go to school here? Mm-hmm. She okay. has a volleyball team. Okay. That's what's up. Listen, I... Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. You brought it up here. I was about to say, I surely <laughs> did. That's what I did with my time. I did. I did. But I, I'm not going to... I ain't going to get into your situation. But okay, you hang out with your girl. You, you going to take her fishing? She going to make me mad. I be out there trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So you don't have so you y'all you can't hang out with her girlfriend. So like, what they going to do with their downtime? You ain't... You going to take them to the fishing hole? 
Y'all want to hang out with me? I can go fishing with you one time. Thinking really? you been you go yeah, fishing? I can go fish. You know what you you, you I, yeah. I I used to go f fishing. Okay. When I was younger. Men gonna be real mad when you see me fish, boy. <laughs> no, girl, no. You I had one fishing experience and that went bad. Oh man. Really? Yeah, I made my cousin put the fighting on the water. Oh. oh. So as long as you don't do that, we good. No, you know me. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so okay. Here is. The last thing I really want to get into, social media. Are you guys heavy on the social media situations? Mm -hmm. Like, you like to use it? Okay, so I want you to, we're on this camera right here. I want you to look in that camera and tell everybody where they can follow you on social media to make sure, you know, they can keep up with what's going on in y'all lives. We'll start right here with Ken. Talk to the people. All right, um, my Instagram and my TikTok is... Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Instagram and TikTok is I dot am Ken. That's it. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. what is my Instagram? I'll be having to check sometimes too. Let me make sure that's it, y'all. All right. Oh lord. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Jemiah M Y underscore. Spell Jemiah for him just in J -A -M -Y -A -M -Y case we got some. J A M Y A M Y underscore, and then on X. I don't know why Twitter did this, y'all. Why know. would they name this X? But anyway, I follow um, you on Twitter, and you be <laughs> she be going in on Twitter. You on Twitter? <laughs> I, on Twitter. During, during the playoffs, she was oh, yeah. talking mad junk. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're a Laker. The only time the you're a Laker, you're a Laker fan, right? Season. Yeah, you yeah. was mad yeah. about that. I'm a Lakers yeah. fan. I'm a Saints fan. But on Twitter, you can follow me, Jemiah M Y four no underscore. Yeah. All right. See it. Talk to him. On Instagram and TikTok, you can follow me at. Sydney with two Y's at the end, Shaw. That's it. So you're it, not on X. I am on. I don't. Stop calling it X. <laughs> it's Twitter. See, I don't use it though. I just be scrolling. I'm a ghost so you on there. So mm -hmm. you you didn't. Do you got TikTok? Okay. I, don't I just be lurking so, on TikTok. All right. So TikTok is funny though. <laughs> okay. So that's what I want to ask y'all. Tick. What kind of TikTokers are you all? Um, basketball, <laughs> so you, funny TikToks. Oh, boy, I got, I, we gonna come down here. Oh, I'm laughing at her. <laughs> Who, me? Thirst trap. She's lying. Oh, She's lying. What? <laughs> 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 First of all, if it's... So, hold on, let me... Shout out to TikTok again so we can make sure. TikTok. <laughs> I got am Ken. First of all, if it's a thirst trap, she's in the comments. Period. No, I am in the comments. Exactly. So I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I'm trying to go up on TikTok. So if you see a thirst trap, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to get up on TikTok. Oh. Thank you. Basketball. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying that's what I like on. <laughs> That's what I like I on TikTok. Girl, I can't hold it together. Girl, I can't hold it together. Oh, oh, shoot. That, was funny. that <laughs> is good lying. stuff. That's good stuff. I'm not lying, y'all. All right. <laughs> See it. So what What about you? What's your TikTok life like? Um, I don't really make TikToks as much as I used to. I just be looking. But if you go and scroll, there's going to be a couple thirst traps on there. Oh. You know, I be feeling myself oh. sometimes. <laughs> oh. Listen, no. I appreciate y'all for taking a little time out here and kicking it with me. I I, sure. Hopefully we get a chance to chop it up again at some point in time, cause I I ain't really I didn't I didn't bother y'all too bad this time. We 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 gotta. She said, "What? It's not, it ain't it ain't bad, man." So what's next time? <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Anyway, man, <laughs> we're about to get out of here. I appreciate y'all for chopping it up one more time with us on Building Report. You got Ike Jones. Until the next time, and as always, hold up. Y'all need to follow us, like and subscribe to the channel. We are the War Poor on. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TW Report on TikTok. We're out of here until next time. War Eagle. War Eagle. Eagle. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>